guys, we're now at Gilders Bukash. We're on June 30, 1944. Whitman took out several tanks uh, and other vehicles. And now we're now gonna show you those places. I'm not doing it alone. I have Sergio from War Academy and History Belicias with me. And Hello. he's gonna show us exactly where Whitman took out all these vehicles and tanks. So let's watch it. So, uh, so at the start of the war, they were here at Gournay. Yes, yes. The okay. the seventh of June. Yes. He start to to come to Normandy. Uh, first, uh, they won't uh, cross the River Sena, but uh, when they arrive to the Sena, uh, they they see that all the bridge was destroyed. So uh, they have to go to Paris to cross uh, the Sena in Paris. Okay. Uh, they arrived at Paris the seven night, seven of June for the night. Okay. So uh, the eighth of June um, continue. Con continue uh, the travel and finally the 101 Panzer Heavy SS uh, come to Normandy in tw uh, 12. 12. Uh, they start the travel with 40 Tiger 1, 40 Tiger 1, you know. Uh, one battalion have uh, 45, 45, uh, but five was uh, uh, the 12th of June. They have uh, for the first company, first company of the 101, uh, have solamente uh, eight Tiger One. The second company, mm -hmm. the second company of Whitman, they have six, six tires. And the third, the third company only have one, one tire. So, uh, the third company, they stay in, in Falais to rest it, mm -hmm. to, to rest. It's uh, solamente the, the one and second company uh, come uh, here. Uh, so uh, the first company stay uh, near of the Panzer Lair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the the Bitman company stay uh, here, a uh, one or two kilometer in this direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. When they come. The, situ the situation the British the British uh, seven division blindada break the front and post walk walking walking yeah. to Villerbo Cash and later go to Caen mm. here was the Panther Lair and here La Hitler Jugend so uh, they want um, pocket, pocket. make make a, a pocket, yeah. a pocket uh, inside the Panzer Lair and the Hitler Jugend. Okay. 
So, uh, Beatman was here. ¿Vale? Y ahora ya vamos aquí. Beatman uh, was here, ¿vale? Uh, outside Villers oh, Bocas. ¿Ok? Y the morning of. Uh, 13, ¿vale? 13 de June. of June. Um, they see the British squadron walking uh, up the street, okay? He was in a farmer, in a farmer. Um, first, first. Whitman shoot against a uh, Sherman uh, mm -hmm. Firefly uh, and later he ordered to the rest of company to attack mm -hmm. but uh, the the four tiger the four tiger uh, attack to the Sherman que que cross, cross the line, cross the line. So, the full Sherman go to uh, the, 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 the vanguard, vanguard, in Bitman, Bitman, only Bitman, uh, come to Villers Bocas, okay? Okay, esto es uh, the Bitman Company, Five a ver de, va, de vanguard, ok, del escuadrón. 22 brigada blindada. Y Bitman eh, start to come a Villers Bocas. A ver si está aquí el mapa. Ok, so, eh, he destroyed eh, all. But, eh, there are. M9, being carried, ok, mm -hmm. Stuart, but when Whitman arrived here, just here, vale, ok, we are, we are, now, here, just here, now, uh, There, there, Bitman destroy to Stuart, to Stuart, mm -hmm. and uh, just here, three, three Cromwell, three Cromwell, here. So, uh, just here. that house okay. vale pues eh, later later of the Troy eh, the free Cromwell yeah okay Bitman continua continued uh, into uh, the village uh, yes so uh, when when he uh, sta stay yeah. in this position he see a, a Sherman A Sherman, this Sherman, this Sherman uh, was a blue, blue, blue panel. There, blue and uh, orange. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so right here. I have, I, I have a photo. I have a photo. Okay, uh, 
uh, we are here now, we are here, on the Sherman, there. Yeah, a Sher Sherman uh, Commander, Commander Sherman. Yeah. Uh, a canyon, canyon. Wood, wood, wood. Okay. No, no, no real, no yeah. real. So the Sherman you took out right here was a Sherman of a commander, and it didn't had a steel cannon, it's just a wooden cannon, so he didn't have any gun to fire back. Okay, so the Sherman was knocked out here. For Luis, it's a, a mayor. So well, this Sherman was knocked out right here. And later, Bidman continued down the street. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here, Bidman uh, see other Cromwell. This Cromwell. Okay. Shoot and destroy this Cromwell here. So this Cromwell is taken out here. Oh yeah, the house right there. You see the roof? Right there. Okay. Yes. Vale. Y ahora, eh, a ver. So right also at this spot when Whitman took out this chrome right here, he received a hit from a Sherman Firefly down on the end of the street. So uh, afterwards he, Whitman came back here and wanted to go down the street to try and eliminate the Sherman Firefly. Okay. The, fer the Firefly was hit. Was hit. Okay. He, uh... So when Whitman took the hit here from the Sherman Firefly, after eliminating the Cromwell, he went down the street to try and eliminate the Sherman Firefly, but it also retreated. He came to this place, Plaza La Marie, and here he decided that he was too exposed to get hit, so he went back, so he also retreated, he went back, but kept his gun right in front of the thread, so if the Sherman Firefly decided to come back, he would shoot it. So this is the place we are in right now. So here, Whitman decided that it was time to come back because here he was too exposed for uh, for the other threats. So we went back that way. So we started started there where the Cromwell was hit. We came back this way. And here the Whitman decided, let's go back. He went back, but there. He came to a complete stop. It could have been an engine failure or it could be because of the damage of the anti-tank hit. Nobody knows, real, definite. And then there he had to evacuate. So there is the place he decided to go back. So now we're walking back. So, uh, he stopped here, in the coffee maker, just here. The tiger stopped it, here. Here? Yes, yes. Around here? Just here, just here. Whitman stopped. Um, no, no, no photo, no photo. Many people, many people think that this is the Tiger of Bidman, yeah. but no. This tiger was the 
French company, French company that uh, attack Bilerbo Cash later. Later. Uh, later. During the afternoon, yeah. afternoon attack. No Whitman. So there is no photo of Whitman, his tank? No, uh, no yeah. exist photo. Okay. Because the when Whitman escaped, evacuat, eva evacuated, mm. the British destroyed the tiger of Whitman. Destroyed. Okay. Destroyed. No, no photo. In indicate all the blinde of the... 22 brigade that was destroyed in the Nervo Cash. Okay. We are now at Dietrich Barracks. We're on June 13, 1944. Dietrich at his headquarters uh, with the uh, first is a sponsor corps. And this is also the same place where Whitman came in the night of June 13. So we just spoke with the owners of it. They don't know too much, but they know that during the war there was a headquarters and we know they were the headquarters of uh, Sip Dietrich in June 1944. And also Whitman came in the night of June 13 to here. He says he doesn't have the photo, but he knows a photo must exist of Michael Whitman right there at the door drinking champagne for his access in the uh, village of Cars. So here on August 8, 1944, around midday. Michael Whitman and his Tigers, seven of them, were ordered, together with the support of Hitler Hugh in the vision, to recapture the high ground, which the British and Canadian forces took, right here. But what Kurt Meyer, the divisional commander of the EU division, didn't know, was that the British and the Canadians halted their advance because they expected an aerial bombardment. So when Michael Whitman came from that direction together with his Tigers and other tanks and men of the Hitlerjugend division, they advanced and counterattacked in the direction of Caen, but they ran straight in a trap here, where the British 1st Northamptonshire German Jury and Royal Armoured Corps hid in those woods and the Canadian Sherbrooke Fusilry Regiment, right around there, had an excellent firing position on this open field. So it's here around midday, where Michael Whitman, his tiger, was knocked out. An eternal explosion blew off the turret, and all the men were killed. It's afterwards that the friends buried them, and it's only in 1983 when their bodies were discovered and brought back to Lacan. So here is the grave of Whitman and his grave was already stolen two times so every time they have to replace it. It's incredible because what you're gonna do with a stone? You can't sell it. He's burnt with the stone so what you do with it? And here is his crew. <laughs> 